First, this is your polite reminder to set up a different region eShop account. Most of these are the EU big sale that's happening at the moment. They more than likely going to come to America, but you can buy your, your vouchers, your eShop cards, and then set up another account and pay that way. It's really easy to do. And uh, I'll tell you about it in a second, actually. Hopefully you caught the sales video yesterday. If you didn't, go and check it out because there were some ludicrous deals in there. We've got another 10 amazing games that are very rarely on sale. Some of them might be, but they're at their lowest ever prices, so they need to be mentioned. If you want to win a free game, leave your comments down below. If you want to save 10 more percent on all of these games, buy your eShop vouchers over at switchup.gg using code switchup. That's available until the end of the month. You can also buy some other bits and bobs like Xbox and there was going to be PlayStation, but it's not ready yet. I'm in a really good mood today, which is nice, isn't it? Some days you feel like absolute rubbish and other days just you're on cloud nine. So I'm sat on cloud nine. Thanks to all of you that have helped us get to 237, 236, one of those thousand subscribers. That's amazing. What is on sale this week? Let us find out. That's not right. Let's find out. First up then, and before they pull their finger out there um, somewhere and get us Need for Speed Underground 2 on the Nintendo Switch, we have Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, the remastered edition, 75% off, the cheapest it's ever been, taking it down to £8.74, and a brilliant game. It's one that I think I did the review of this one on the channel. It's got cross-platform multiplayer. It has the auto log, if you know what that is, helping you join your friends for head-to-heads and pursuits. And there's also all the DLC included, all the updates, 30 different challenges. It's a really good game. I had a great time with this, actually, and I, I think it looks really nice on the Switch. I'm sure there'll be that one person who pops up in the comments and tells me that it's dropping a frame every 74 frames, but I don't care. I'm enjoying it. You can unlock loads of cars, there are different weapons, the pursuits are very cool, and uh, when I was playing it, the online functionality was really good. Well, you know you're making your way up the YouTube food chain when you are offered the chance to make a Raid Shadow Legends video, and it is indeed Raid Shadow Legends that have kindly sponsored today's video. This is, of course, one of the best-known mobile games of all time. It has a huge number of champions, over 600 now, and all of these champions come from unique factions and have their own history and lore. You can download Raid for yourself to your mobile phone or PC using the links in this video's description. Raid Shadow Legends is, of course, a turn-based RPG, and a couple of the champions I like in particular when taking on raid bosses or dungeon runs are Elder Skarg of the Barbarians, who specialises in chopping away at enemies that have a lot of buffs. He takes less damage from legendary champions and can hit with a number of debuff skills to really damage the opposition. It's also always good to have a support character on your side, and Manea fits the build perfectly in this respect. Her default attack sees her heal your weakest champion, and she'll heal both them and herself on her second skill. She is your classic white mage of old, and she is a great member of any team. There's a lot happening in Raid this month, there's the fresh rotation of the new boss Hydra, the brutal behemoth with six heads to slay, as well as a bunch of events and tournaments every day, including some special Valentine's Day events where you can get your hands on a brand new legendary champion. If you are new to it all, then now is a great time to get started as, as I mentioned earlier, you can use the link in the description of this video or scan the QR code shown to get free resources and a free mystery champion straight away to get you moving in the game. No spoilers as to who the champion is, but they are definitely very cool. Use the link to see who you get and all of this treasure will be waiting for you here. These rewards are available for the next 30 days, only for new players. Let's just get all the Nintendo games out in one fell swoop. I said I wouldn't talk about them much. I don't want to do what everyone else is going to do, which is take up like six slots in their videos saying, oh, you should get Zelda and you should get Zelda. And why don't you try Mario? No, no, no. We've got Zelda and there's Zelda and you could try Mario. Basically, all the Nintendo games at the moment are on sale. Mario Kart's on sale if you're going to buy it physically, but on the eShop as well, it's 33% off. The others can be had at discounts at Argos and Amazon. But I think Mario Kart is here. It's a good time for it because it's about to get all that new deal. DLC, isn't it? And if you've got the online subscription, then for the win in that regard. The only other one I'd suggest at the moment is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which is 33% off. It was one of Glenn's Game of the Years. That is such a thing. Games of the Year. I'll pop a link to that list in the description, but really good. Very nice. Um, cutesy, almost, uh, what do you call it? Diorama, where it's like, um, looks miniature. 
I forget what the name of that is. But about 20 hours of gameplay, well worth it. Very good game. I've mentioned this one so many times and you still haven't picked it up. It's God Eater 3. Now it's new lowest ever price of £7.49. That's 85% off. An absolutely outstanding Monster Hunter clone, essentially. And I know it's more than a Monster Hunter clone. I know it's the third in the series. It does quite a lot different. You've got larger groups of you fighting against, uh, what are they called again? Is it the Aragami? I'm pretty sure it's the Aragami you're fighting against. And there's switching mechanic between your weapons. Brilliant one. It was one of you that suggested this to me. I didn't think I'd really enjoy it, but I enjoyed it immensely. Very good. 85% off. And with a download of 14.8 gigabytes, that's potentially the biggest issue. Around about 50 to 60 hours, but probably way longer than that. Next up, we've got Quake. With the help of MVG, Modern Vintage Gamer, this has come across in a fantastic shape. It's currently half price, taking it down to £3.99. And if you've never played Quake, I don't know what happened there, but it's a first-person shooter. It has offline and online multiplayer. Yes, it looks dated, but man, does it run well. And they've just done so much to tweak this version on the Switch. You've obviously got gyroscopic controls. You've got a new expansion pack, and there's actually a couple of brand new areas and stages, which is incredible after all these years. And you've also got local or online co-op. So you can grab a friend and just blast your way through. Do you know what? I'm actually going to play this tonight. I'm recording this on Friday and it's gaming night tonight. Glenn comes over, we play Monster Hunter, etc. But tonight, I think we're going to bash through the campaign and quake. Happy days. That sale goes on until February the 20th. Stupid cheap price on Risk of Rain 2 currently, 75% off, taking it down to £4.99. Now this, to be fair, has had a couple of sales previously. This matches its lowest ever, but if you didn't play the first Risk of Rain, this took a big, like a big change in style. That was side perspective, still roguelite title, but this one is the third person, but it's all about if you can find a group of you to play with. You don't need to, you can play completely solo, so don't let that put you off, but it's brilliant. There are 110 different items to unlock and find. It's got a reasonably small download size of 3.1 gigs and it's published by Gearbox and developed by Hopu Games. This one had a patch about the middle of last year I want to say that took it up to 60 frames per second, smoothed it all out and it's just buttery. It's a delightful experience and you should support developers like this because they've worked a ton on it since it was launched, launched. and I have all the time in the world for that. Are you disco? That's the question. Are you disco enough for this next game? I hope you are, because this was my favourite game of the year. And I told Glenn this might actually be my favourite game of all time across any platform. I've just completed it again, it took me 65 hours, and it is a life-changingly good game. Like, that's the most hyperbolic sentence I think I've ever used in my life, but it is incredibly good. Such good writing. There's so much nuance in every single conversation, and the whole thing's voice acted. Like, I should imagine there might be one person that doesn't like this game. <laughs> one person but for everyone else in the world like six billion or whatever it is there is such an experience here from the soundtrack that was made by british sea power down to the the the, the main vocalist the guy that does the the narration he's actually a jazz uh, musician that they found in a bar in london and were like your voice is amazing and it's incredible and 35 percent off that's the lowest it's ever been. You can also get the physical at 14% off at Shop 2 here in the UK. I can't throw enough hyper hyperbolic statements at this. I, I just want you to buy it and say my word. There's also recently been a huge patch for it, which has fixed load times. Load times are now almost instantaneous. Performance is still a bit janky at times, but my goodness, don't let that put you off. So that's it. There you go. That's my take on this one. Pick it up. 7.3 gigs. And this sale goes on until February the 20th. I think I will happily take Square Enix producing games with terrible names but brilliant gameplay any day of the week over the reverse. And Octopath Traveler <laughs> is half price at the moment and it's incredible. It uses that new, in air quotes, 2D HD style. It follows those eight different stories. They overlap by the end, but for you're looking at a hundred hours of just 
quality, quality RPG goodness. And I'm pleased that they're actually going slightly different routes from the past, having those eight different stories to work through. And with Triangle Strategy, the preview of which we've just done, oh man, they're making good games, let's just put it that way. This is 3.1 gigs and well worth adding to your collection. And discover what lies beyond the horizon. Each traveler has his or her own distinct abilities. These can be divided into path action. This next one is for you, Mr. I haven't played Xenoblade Chronicles yet and I want to get into it because the third game's coming out and it's going to be incredible. And that's Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's 33% off. We know that's the standard Nintendo discount. It's a stunning game. In terms of world building and scale, there's nothing quite like it. Some of the accents, uh, I mean... Some of the Welsh accents are a bit, but you know, you can't win it all. The combat's brilliantly designed. It might take you a few goes. Like, I had to actually start the whole game again because I missed out and forgot some of the combat nuances. Um, but it's worth it. It's worth playing through, watching a guide, etc. if needs be. And in terms of gameplay length, I 150 hours at a push, maybe a bit, maybe even more. I'm still yet to completely finish this one. Yeah, I need to, I need to get it done before the third comes. If you're interested, there is actually a free Japanese voice pack. I know some people just prefer the, the sound of the original Japanese translations. Um, so if you'd rather just hear that, then you can do that and just have the English subtitle over the top. Turn into a weapon. That is how blades are born. My youngest is currently playing this one, good on him, because it's quite a brain buster. It's Fez, which is a platformer, whereby he had to create his own engine to get this rotating mechanic working right. You can rotate the whole world and it changes the, the way the platforms function. It's just incredibly clever. You play as Gomez and you spend a lot of your time essentially just looking for these golden bricks. It's very fun, very easy to pick up and play, very forgiving for kids. That's why it's the kids pick this week, although it's most certainly not a kids game in air quotes, but it's forgiving. So you fall down from the from a high platform and you spawn instantly back where you fell off. It's all about enjoyment. Imagine that, imagine a game just being about enjoyment. It's 1.2 gigs and around about eight to 10 hours to find and do everything. This is the cheapest it's ever been. Last but not least, and it's our hidden gem, but it's not really a hidden gem, so it's just a very good game at a very good price. Nexamon Extinction. Very much a Pokemon-like experience, but handled brilliantly. You can battle other trainers as well as villains. There's loads of side quests and content, and there are 300 different Nexamon to find. It's a funny one, this, because it seems to have much, much higher ratings from users rather than the actual critics which in my opinion is always a good sign. It's like when you have a really good film and it gets smashed by, well, you go to, what is it, Rotten Tomatoes and it's got like 10%, but then the user rating's like 9.1. Yeah, this is one of those, I believe. You're looking at potentially about 40 to 60 hours, 3.1 gigs to download, and it is well worth your cashish. Gotta give a quick shout out to Broken Sword 5, which is 85% off and well worth it for old school point and click fans such as myself. A real nostalgia trip, really. You head back to Paris, you'll see Nicole, you got George Stobart there. It's got that same flavour. Oh man, oh, good times. It's quite long as well. You're looking at about 13 or 14 hours. It originally released in two parts, there, so you're getting the whole game here. And it's 5.3 gigs. And then finally, we must have a game that you should avoid. And usually one that looks all right, you know? And very often they change the thumbnails so that you forget about it. And you're like, ooh, that looks nice. I'll pick that up for 12p or whatever it is. All right, we're gonna do something I've never done before. I'm gonna recommend a game that you should avoid that you should buy. <laughs> You hear me out, hear me out. It's Contra Rogue Core, which is a terrible Contra game. Terrible. But it's 95% off. Taken down to £1.99. And with a few of you in co-op, look, it's not the best game ever. But it's worth that. It really is. So that's it for this week. Congratulations for Glenn producing another beautiful Raid Shadow Legends advert. And to that one guy who's angrily typing in the comments, why would you do an advert for that? Well... <laughs> If you saw how many sales games I picked up this month. <laughs>
you probably know. Don't worry, it will never be in our reviews or any other content just on the weekend. And you might never, you never know, download it, give it a go. Click that link, support the channel. Thanks very much. You might enjoy it more than you know. I think last month we had someone download it and spend like 200 quid. That, that's a lot of money. Be careful. As I say, 10% off on our website, switchup.gg, so you can save more money on all of these games using code switchup until the end of the month. GG to the person that won a free game last week. If you'd like to enter our rolling sales competition, just leave your comments down below. Let us know what you've been playing. Thanks to our patrons. You guys are amazing. You've looked after us and helped us out many a time. For all things Switch, all the time, keep it switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya. Thank you.